guys, Mega Gig back with another video. We are taking a change of pace today. We are in City Skylines, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very efficient ra um, intersection, not roundabout, uh, four way intersection. It might not be the 100% best in the world, but it is very good. And there's two different versions here here's a, a normal, regular version, and then here is a highway exit version. We've got the highway here coming off and it splits and it's just got these a uh, little bit longer a um, little bit longer exits that give you know give yourself a little more of a buffer room uh, when you have heavy traffic. My traffic's doing pretty good over here because I added this little port and this little makeshift uh, road and um, train track just to kinda alleviate pressure so this this isn't done yet. Um, the whole city's really not done. Uh, this was the port that was bringing in everything and it was transferring it to this little distribution center and this little thing was trying to keep up with the entire city and it just wasn't able to keep up with this area so I added in added in this extra over here. But anyways the point of this video is to show you how to make this intersection that works very very well. So we're gonna come up here I've got one kinda started there but we're gonna come up here Every time you uh, you make a road, so we're going to go four units here, we're using the six lane. Every time you make a road, when you go off of that road, you want to go to the next smaller size. So we've gone from this highway exit here, we've done four lanes, just so this lane, this extra lane here, cuts off and then it goes into three lanes. And then we go from the, the six lane, rather, into the four lane and then over here we go from that four lane into a smaller four lane which in turn the next time you go off of that goes into a two lane and then we go off into a smaller two lane as well so that is a uh, traffic tip that really helps your flow of traffic overall in the game you are going to need a few mods for this uh, the main one is the traffic uh, let's see traffic uh, manager president edition is uh, is the main thing actually uh, road anarchy where is it fine road tool does that have road anarchy and road anarchy there it is uh, you're gonna need those and networks ex network extensions as well um, move it might come in handy too with this but we're not gonna particularly be using move but movement here or move it rather alright now we're gonna go to the four lanes come back over here go 20 units make sure we're right in the middle there and we'll just go out uh, two whole blocks on each side 20 units gonna come to our tiny roads do the one-way roads start in the middle and come out 12 units you can do 10 you can even do 9 but it will cause a little bit of a hiccup this one here I believe is 10 yeah, and it flows good, um, but in really heavy traffic situations, because this is uh, this is kind of considered an intersection, uh, the cars will kind of hiccup a little bit, and it will disrupt your flow of traffic. I've kind of left this one alone because it's working all right. This one I did extend. These are 11 units. So 11 is 11 works really well. 12 is really really good, uh, but we're just going to go with 11. Everything's the same. Uh, if you go with 12, uh, it really it's the same no matter how many units you go. So we're just going to go with 11 here. So come out 11 units from there, and then just draw straight over. You'll be able to tell when it's straight when it's a 45 degree angle up here. And so if you come out 11 units, 45 degrees, it's a total of 16 units and then just continue around just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and use the surface painter tool and we're gonna use the concrete and we're gonna just paint in the rest of this here pretty easy and you can see we're kinda messing up the edges we'll fix that in a minute Uh, uh, uh. Oops. If you have some areas that that look a little messed up, you can always get a couple of concrete 
slabs, concrete. And I'm going to use the 1x4, turn on anarchy, and bloop, plop that down to hide those. There we go. And actually, we're not going to do that there. We're going to. Oh, there we go. Make sure all the outside ones are okay. And then you can just plop these on the inside. Really easy. Cleans it up nice. You can also use decals uh, from the surface tool. Whoops. No, not the surface tool. Where is it? Yeah, the decals from here, the ground decals. You can put. Uh oh. Eh, get some errors every now and then when you're using mods. No big deal. It didn't crash all the way. But you can put details and stuff in here like I've done like I've done down here with these you can see I've kind of put some details on there and you can add some light posts in and everything and yeah so you can make it nice and pretty so we've got our roads connected now we're gonna go in and we're going to change lane arrows and on each one of these exits going out, we're going to turn off the left turn. We only want them turning right. So go around to each of these and turn off the left turn. Doesn't matter which way your camera's facing, it's when it comes up on here, it's always the left. As you can see now, all of our arrows are turning right. Go to switch traffic lights, switch off all these traffic lights that are out here. Go back to change lane arrows on the inside now we don't want people turning right here we want them to be f to be using this so we're going to turn off the right turn there so now we have straight 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 left you can also another option it depends on where the majority of your traffic is you can turn that straight off and turn that left that way there's two straights and two lefts it's really up to you come to this side again we're going to turn off the right turn because we don't want people turning into there. Turn around. Again, turn off. If I can, there it is. Turn off the right turn. And finally, turn off the right turn. All right, next, we don't want people coming all the way up here and turning into there. That's ridiculous. We want them turning left here. But for some reason, the computer's not smart enough. It will do that. So come to the outside. Again, we're going to turn off the left turn turn around, turn off the left turn. We want these to all be going straight, the outer portion of this. So there we go. Turn off the left turn. All right, let's see how it looks. Let's look at all our arrows. It looks like all of them are pretty good. And if you want, when you have a situation like this, depending on where it's located, you can upgrade this to the uh, the eight lane road like that that away the the outside arrow the outside lane is forced to turn that's like I have it over here when it's being used as the exit you can see all the cars are you know, for some reason the cops are coming from here and going to here that's kinda weird but pretty much everyone's supposed to be forced to come off there so now we have that and uh, what was the next thing? I actually forgot. Um, speed limits. You can turn these speed limits up if you like to 50 since it matches the rest of the roads. Next, you're going to want to, uh, where is it? Add priority signs. So here you want these guys to be yielded for anyone coming through. So go to yield, it'll automatically give these guys the right away. Same thing for here, yield, same thing for here, yield, and same thing, yield for here. So now people will flow smoothly from here without having to wait for a light unless other people are coming, then they'll stop. So it's basically just like real life. Then they'll stop. So now all you have waiting for the light is traffic turning left and traffic going straight. Now the next thing you wanna do if you want to get really intricate in it and you want your you want everything to flow smooth go to time traffic lights click on the node set up time traffic light add a step here's our first step if you want people walking across just go ahead and add the first step um, we'll just give them a minimum of one second and a maximum of two seconds 
Uh, you want to go ahead and turn your sensitivity down to probably 0.2 or 0.3 so it makes sure it stays stays on pretty good. We're going to do 0.2. Add a second and you can see all our crosswalks are activated but all the lanes are stopped. We're going to add another step. We're going to go ahead and change mode so we can get all the arrows up. Go ahead and turn off all the crosswalks. And then we're going to go a minimum of three seconds and a maximum of 12 seconds. All right, so the first lane we're going to go uh, all the way there and then uh, the only thing that you want at least four lanes going at the same time so these guys are going straight and left so you don't want any of these guys going they'll hit but these guys can turn left of course they're they're coming here so it doesn't really matter actually uh, in this particular one so we're just gonna go um, we're gonna go with that yeah never mind forget what I just said about that and then add another step turn these off let these guys go turn these off let these guys go turn these off and let these guys go and then once you've got it all set up you just hit start and you'll be able to see your time traffic lights going if there's no traffic flowing it'll well it should stop we can uh, turn up the sensitivity a little bit and see it works well when there's actually traffic let's see if it does if it turns off there it must be because there's not actually traffic uh, but that's basically it that's how you make that roundabout let's go and look at it in in uh, actually we'll turn on our time traffic lights here yeah and I actually didn't extend these Wow, it actually messed up my... I've had this happen where uh, where it's messed up my time traffic lights recently. I'm not sure why something is resetting. Some mod conflicting, some kind of update. I don't know. But I don't have any uh, pedestrian pedestrians walking across anyways because I've added these, these underground tunnels. You can see and there's all my pedestrians underground. So I've got this little uh, little crosswalk here. I've got these parks here, and then I've got the underground tunnels there. So everyone that wants to go from here to here is going to take the underground tunnels and do that. So that keeps pedestrians off of our off of our uh, intersection. The only difference in this intersection here is we've taken. There's not really a uh, a specific length. Um, the only difference here is go, I don't know, go maybe another five or six, change to the curve road tool, go out three, you're going to have to have anarchy on and up three, and then go, might have to go to straight, yeah, there we go, go, um, four units I guess I don't remember exactly two and uh, it's not one to here let's draw the shape here like this go from here go eight units it doesn't want to do seven I really want it to do seven uh, we'll just do eight Now we'll click this, go up to there, and something like that. That's a little less of a curve, but you get the idea. Here I have it actually curved out, and then I go straight, and I bring them together, and then I just put a little curve there. So this one's a little bit more curved. We can go ahead and straighten it up. All I've done, the difference is just gone straight again like that. Let's turn the snapping tool off maybe and do one and then turn snapping back on. The snapping isn't wanting to work correctly but that's basically it there and then clean it up on the inside. Make sure you turn the the directions back around every time you add a new road 
or edit it or anything, you're probably going to have to change your lane arrows back. So we'll change that back. And you may even have to change your priority signs. Yeah, see it messed that up. So don't forget that. You may have to also switch your traffic lights on and off as well. But that's essentially it. Here it is in action. As you can see, people are coming off. They're turning. These guys get to go whenever they want. Uh, let's make sure my yeah my priority signs are all there. And then these guys get to go. These guys get to go. If you want to change your time traffic lights, it's always best to just pause it. We're going to go ahead and stop it. Um, they get to go. So I'm not sure why it was actually showing the the green. That's interesting when I hit start. Some kind of uh, some kind of bug. But I don't have to worry about pedestrians crossing anyways because of those underground sections. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, leave a like and a comment down below if you want to see more of these little tutorials or possibly a uh, a whole city building uh, city. Uh, let me know also in the comments. This map here is on. Uh, Flux's map. He made this rhinestone island map. It's it's pretty awesome. I like it. Uh, I've kind of mimicked in a way a couple of the things he's done, um, just with you know my own stuff. But this is kind of the utility island here. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you like the video, leave it a like and a comment down below. If you want to see more, let me know. And subscribe, guys, if uh, you know you want to see more of this or Diablo or other things that may be coming in the future. Thanks, guys. More good stuff to come.